Hey everyone, this is Tony Teaches Tech. I'm Tony, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use the Cloudways Rackspace email add-on to create an email address for your domain name so that you can send and receive email. So if that's something you're interested in learning how to do, let's get on into the tutorial here. Okay, so I am logged into my Cloudways account and I'm on my application page here. You can see that I have a website, careerquitter.com, but I wanna be able to send and receive emails from that domain name. So we're gonna create an email address for that. So how do we do that? Well, we can go up here to the menu, click on that and go to the add-on section. And right now the Rackspace email add-on is disabled. So let's go ahead and enable and configure that. So I wanna make an email address at that domain name. So I'm just gonna make it tony at careerquitter.com. And I'll go ahead and type in my password. And this is, we're making this email account. We're making this email address. So I'm gonna pick a password for this. So I'm gonna type that in. Okay, so that looks good. And um, every email address that you add is a dollar per month. Uh, you can actually do an email alias uh, underneath this to check, like if you have multiple email addresses that you're okay with checking in the same email inbox, like hello at careerquitter.com or help at careerquitter.com, support at careerquitter.com. That would all be just $1 a month as long as you just check them in the same inbox. Every additional inbox you want is an additional dollar per month. I'll show you how to do that, but let's do this first. I'm gonna go ahead and save those changes. And it's creating my mailbox, as you can see here. Um, but when it's finished with this, which it's finished with it now, your mailbox has been created, we have to go to where we got our domain name from our DNS register and add some settings in there. So we're gonna do that next um, and I'll show you how to do that. So right now we have our Rackspace email add-on enabled. I bought my domain name careerquitter.com from Google Domains and I have this open over here. You can see that these are all the domain names that I own. Um, but for careerquitter.com, we want to click on that. And this will be slightly different for wherever you bought your, your domain name from, but the concept is in general the same. So find, find your DNS settings for your domain name and go down to where you can have your custom resource records. And you probably already maybe went through this process to connect your domain name to Cloudways already. So this is the Cloudways IP address. And we just want to add a couple more uh, records down here. So First thing, I'm gonna use my cheat sheet over here. I'm gonna add an MX record, which is a mail, mail record pretty much. And we're gonna have this. Um, and by the way, all of these, uh, all of these settings that I'm adding here, I have opened another tab here um, from Rackspace where they show you what to add. So I'll have that link down below as well. Um, so let's go back to the Google, Google domains and I'm gonna add the next one, which is this. So we'll add those records. And then we wanna add a text record. And again, this is all just coming from the, the help document, which I'll have a link below. And then finally, a CNAME record. So four records all together. And that one did not work. So what was the issue with that? Oh, so that's right. So it's, uh, it just wants the domain and the the uh, name is auto discover. Okay, so that looks good. So now we have our four additional records. We have two MX records, one text record, and one C name record. Now let's go. While this this might take, um, this might not be instantaneous. As you see the up here, the changes might take effect over the next 48 hours. But hopefully, if we're lucky, it'll work right away. Uh, let's go check our inbox first. So let's open up that and. The inbox for all Cloudways accounts is going to be at this address, cloudways.mymailserversrvr.com. And this is where we can use the credentials that we just created a couple minutes ago to log in. So for me, I'm going to type in Tony at careerquitter.com and then my password and log in. And now we have our inbox for that email address. So that's already set up for us. Um, what we wanna do, uh, and hopefully everything has propagated as far as the DNS settings that we just entered, but let's go ahead and send a test email. So let's 
make this like, you know, half the screen or something. And then I have my inbox over here for my personal Tony Teachers Tech email. Um, let's just go ahead and send a test email over here. And we should, if everything's working, we should see it pop up. So from Tony or to Tony at careerquitter.com, hey there, did you get this email in your inbox? Brand new email, let's go ahead and see if it works. So let's send that. And I know there's a delay here until this, this, uh, this message pops up down here because they give you time to undo it. Um, let's see if it pops up over here in a matter of, you know, the next five or 10 seconds. So when that goes away, we'll start looking for it over here. Okay. I'm going to help it along by refreshing, see if it pops up. Not yet. Let's refresh the entire page. There it is. So that was fairly quick, actually. Um, hey there, did you get this email in your inbox? Thanks, Tony. And that's from, from me. So um, very cool. Let's go ahead, like I promised, and actually let's let's uh, reply to this email and we'll say, hey, I got it. Did you get my email? Uh, we're just testing this out. So we'll send that. And um, there it is. So it comes back over. So that was really, really, I'm impressed. That was pretty quick. Um, okay, so like I promised, I want to show you how to do an email alias. That's pretty straightforward. If we go back into the Rackspace email add-on, we edit that, go to aliases. And now, like I said, you can have multiple aliases for free. This is included in the $1 per month. And the, the, the whole thing with the alias is that you can as long as you're okay with checking it in your inbox, so specifically the inbox that we were just in here, um, if you're okay with checking multiple email accounts in the same inbox, then you can have, I, I don't know if there's a limit, but multiple, um, I would say like dozens of different email aliases. So let's do one, let's do help at careerquitter.com and we'll go ahead and add that. Uh, oh, we wanna add it to this alias. So help at careercritter.com is going to be checked in Tony at careercritter.com's inbox. Save changes. And that has been set up. So let's, uh, for just one final test here, let's send an email to help at careercritter.com. And I have not tested this beforehand, but let's just see what happens. So to help at careercritter.com. Uh, does this work? Let me know. Okay, so something like that. Send that over, and again, it'll take you know the 15 seconds or whatever until it um, until it gets over there, and it says it was sent. So we'll get out of that, and then uh, I guess while we're waiting, I'll, I'll wrap up the video while hopefully this will work. Um, if you have any questions about Cloudways, setting up email, Rackspace, anything like that, let me know in the comments below. I'll be more than happy to help you out. And guys, I have a ton of videos on this channel about um, Cloudways, email, all that stuff, everything you need to know to get your business, your personal website, your blog, whatever it is up and running online so that you don't have to pay a web developer or anything like that. Let's go ahead and check to see if this email came through. There it is. It works. We're good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Subscribe to this channel for more. And if you do, I'll see you in the next video.